So, Bahama here. You know what's not, why it's so hard to really believe in a religion? Because as a targeted individual, I know, I know regardless religion is not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to study for the word for ourselves. But that's beside the point. You know why it's so hard to believe in anything good? It's because even the people who are playing like they're godly people go to church every Sunday, you know, going to school and whatever the case may be. People are really out here on evil shit. I don't understand how people like to say this is Satan's kingdom. Right? Satan controls the world. Devil this, devil that, evil everywhere. And then when we're someone who brings y'all truth about another tactic that the devil or whatever he's evil. If you ask me, just humans or demons and devils, bro. It is what it is. I don't see no motherfucker with horns and fire red flame committing evil and kidnapping children. No. I see other humans doing that. You know? I see other humans gossip and slander and stalk and harass and murder and kill and kidnap and torture and, and it's crazy how these people do the most evilest shit ever, bro. And other motherfuckers know they be doing it. And they'll slander targeted individuals the worst thing possible. And they'll literally have people watching us no matter where we go, whether we're in their crib, whether they're at work. It's like, and some of us have been dealing with this shit for years. Some of us have been dealing with this shit for fucking years. Being tortured by these evil, psychotic assholes. And in Pittsburgh, PA, it's a demonic city. I don't care what you say. I'm more than willing to accept the fact that I have bad qualities that people don't like. I'm fucked up. I have my bad moments. I have qualities that may not rub off off, off, off on people the right way. That's, that's why I live my life a certain way. But at the end of the day, bro... I don't harm nobody. I don't disrespect no one. I don't stalk no one. I don't gossip. I don't slander. I don't torture. I don't abuse. I don't poison. I don't tamper. I don't fucking touch, molest, kill, murder, steal. It's fucking whatever the fuck these evil people are slandering me as. Nine times out of ten, bro, is these people. And I truly understand that. Want to be godly people slandering and gossiping. It, it just, everything is fucking reversed. Everything is fucking reverse. If you're around here truly doing good, you know, it don't matter if you're suffering in your own depression or if you if you're living fucked up or yeah, 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 you know, the way you're living life is not too great. As long as you're not around here torturing somebody to the point where you're mentally you're 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 psychologically destroying them to where you can completely change who they are as a person, you don't deserve this shit. The people who participate in whatever this bullshit is, y'all are the ones that need to be watched. Y'all are the ones who need to be locked up in jail somewhere. You around here gossiping, slandering, like you literally synchronizing with one motherfucker. You synchronizing with a motherfucker no matter if he at his job, he at his crib. You having the same synchronicity to the point where he get off on break, he's seeing the same vehicles on break. Sitting in the same pos uh, sitting in the same spots, open and close the door as soon as you hit the stairs. Like I truly think this. Cause it, it reinsured me. It re it like cause I always had this thing where I couldn't never fully trust humans, bro. Just something about mankind is just like they're just fucking monsters, bro. And trust me, I should know. I I grew up in and the first age one to fifteen was pure hell in in, in Pittsburgh. Pure hell. This is why when it comes to my targeting why I just recognize it, bro. The first 15 years, what was the excuse when I was dealing with the same thing as a child? Because when I look back on it, you look at everything you're going now, now everything starts to make sense. Now you start to see why you were the scapegoat child, why, you know, everything was your fault, you know, everything, you know, <laughs> your trauma, your abuse. And I'm only talking to a select few. That don't mean I'm, I'm better than you. That don't mean, oh, you should feel bad for me. Nah. There's some people I heard that was really sold out as children. Now it makes sense. So I'm talking to my perps when I say that. What was the excuse when I was a kid going through all that trauma? I don't, I'm thinking, like, 
I'm just starting to think I don't even now understand why I had those moments with my supposed mother. I'm starting to feel like I wasn't even my mom. Because now when I look at my brother and sister, even though their dad, my mom was like light skinned, right? And their dad was dark skinned. But my dad was, we had different dads, but my dad was dark skinned as well. Why did I come out dark skinned? But my brother and sister come, they're both light skinned. And my dad is actually darker than their dad. Like, or no, no, the other way around. Their dad was darker. Their their dad was darker than my dad, my bad. Yeah, so it's like, I, I just, I don't. Certain things just don't make sense to me. And I'm sorry if I do things that may seem like I'm the enemy, I'm the problem. But ever since I just saw certain synchronicities and certain frequencies and things that was illogical, because I'm a very logical person. I live life. I've been on my own since I was 15. So I don't, it's just natural for me to not really trust people, especially coming from an abusive background. It's just natural for me to, to live life in survival. You know, not saying that's a good or bad thing, but people need to understand there's people who live life on survival and there's people who who live life just going through the motions. You're not living life on survival. You're just you're just living. You know, you might have had your mom and dad, you know, good relationship, good childhood growing up. It is what it is. But I can I firmly understand how important it is to have a family in your life to set you on the right path. I'm just thankful that I didn't turn out worse than what I am. I'm happy I didn't get to a point where I let my trauma, you know, want to torture other people, want to destroy other people. You know, even shit like that. I, I looked over here, you know, as you get that feeling, someone looking at you, you know, motherfucker walking, walking past fucking. He, he got his phone out. Right. But he's, he's like this looking at me. You know, it, and it's just it's just another thing to just show me, hey, we're watching you. You know, it, it just is what it is. But I can firmly tell you in Pittsburgh, PA, it is a demonic city. I am being harassed by a whole fucking city. And this is why if you know me when Pittsburgh, you just don't want to say nothing because you're in the program or you're not in the program or, you know, you think it's fun to further troll. You know, you want to participate in my harassment because you think it's funny that someone's on the Internet, you know, bitching or whatever it is or crying out for help, or whatever the case may be. Understand what I'm going through is very real. Whether it's just a bunch of people trolling me, whether it's a bunch of evil people, whether a bunch of people get paid to do it. All I know what I'm experiencing in Pittsburgh it is real. And all this is is another thing to tell you. All this is is another way to tell you that people are going through some evil. At I know that's another distraction and I ain't finna stop my video cause I am but homeless dude just walked into college campus looking through bags and shit and then at the same time what's funny is you got the old dude to synchronize right and then you literally can I sign him out? yes you're so energetic so, uh, sorry I had to pause I had to check someone out but it's just it's, it's like things like that so you know, just to just pause or whatever, you know, it's it's just shit like that, the synchronicities that just, it's, ever since I came to Pittsburgh, bro, everything that happens to me, it, it's always a synchronizing factor, this is why I'm so irritated, this is why I got to the point where, yes, I was always a barely talkative person, but talking to new people, meeting new people, getting to know people, that was never difficult for me, you know, but even the people who are really cool with will let you know, it just, I just didn't fuck with people. I just, my trust, you know? But it's like, when you actually get to know me, I'm the coolest motherfucker ever. I'll talk to you for hours, you know? But it's just like, stuff, just to get back on topic, stuff like that. So you had the homeless dude come in, play with the bag. Then you had the dude who I was talking about who walked past like this with his phone out. You know, he synchronized with the homeless dude and then students came out at the same time. You know, so it's just like, shit like that, bro, lets you know you're just this, in this demonic Truman show. And even just to go into more detail about how things only happen when you're around. For example, every time I step outside, I don't never hear loud things away from me. I don't never hear someone slamming a door down the street. I don't never hear people laughing, having a good time, you know, away from me. It's always dead quiet 
And then it just happens right in front of me. Like someone slammed the door right when I'm walking past. Someone stomps their feet. Someone start, Someone laughs out loud. Someone uses an indirect or subliminal right up on me. And only, only a small few of people would truly understand what I'm talking about. It's all projection. It's all psychological warfare. Because that's the one thing these demons love to do. Is attack you psychologically. You know, even when the student came out. She, she just, I'm not even really... I'm not even really talking, but she steps out, you know, she's smiling or whatever. And she's like, you're so energetic. Like, and, you know, I'm just like, you know, I'm, you know, in my head, I'm just like, yeah, bro, this is just synchronicity. But, you know, I have the little conversation, I sent them on their way. But it's just like, it's just crazy, the synchronicity, bro. Like, these people literally got us in TV shows, whether they're looking out through her eyes, whether it's the phone. All I know is that we mess them with... Nah. I see humans doing evil shit, but the reactions I be seeing from certain individuals and certain behavior patterns and certain individuals, you can tell these people aren't fucking human. <laughs> I don't care what you say, brother. Some of these people are not fucking human, bro. They on some demonic type time and it's, it's just sickening, but it's just like, no matter where I go, bro, no matter where I go, like this shit, like, <laughs> And it sucks because I can't find the words on about like everything I experienced. Like I'm telling you, soon as I open up, just imagine you sitting in your room, right? You sitting in your room. Soon as you get home, right? A certain amount of time, uh, a certain amount of pa time passed. Soon as you close the door, you hear someone open and close the door. You know, if you decide to stay up, you know, for whatever reason, you stay up to like, you know, two o'clock or whatever. You don't go to sleep when you get home from work. Soon as you decide to lay down and close your eyes, now you hear it open and close your door. Now you're seeing people come out the room yelling and shit. Every time when you leave the crib, you leave the crib to go grab some juice, you come back. They harass you in a certain way. It's the only way you know. Every time I leave the crib, bro, no matter what. Every time I leave the crib, they cut off one elevator and they have the other out of other elevator sitting on the floor thirteen. After once, twice, three, four, five, maybe cool. But every single fucking time? How the hell are y'all controlling a whole building to have everybody who live in the building to come to not jump on the elevator? So where every time I come back in the crib, the floor is on the Do you not hear that shit, bro? Just and it sounds crazy me explaining that shit. You staying in a building that have over, what, a, a good 50, 60 people living in it and workers in it? Like, so you telling me whenever I leave the crib, y'all literally tell everybody no one use the elevator. Leave it on 13. Do y'all not hear how psychotic that is? And I, I'm, I'm speaking like this and I'm talking in this manner just so I can truly have the fly monkeys even get what the fuck I'm going through because y'all just want to y'all just y'all just hop, hopping on board you know and you're not you're not realizing the the mental abuse that these people have, have put me through since being in Pittsburgh a lot of y'all might have just got the notification from your handler hey this is his YouTube channel make sure you stay on top of him every time you make a video watch him we want you to post underneath his channel like yeah I can't show the things they really do, but all you need to know is that this is another tactic of these evil people. And I, and I feel like I'm in the program or the d deep web, dark web TV show where they're watching my life. I feel like all targeted individuals are in this certain type of program where they're either trying to kill you, they're looking at you as in entertainment or they want to destroy your mind or whatever the case may be i feel like there's different programs different systems different agendas for different types of targets and one thing i can tell you is they got me in truman show and it's only a matter of time i know i'm gonna live and die going through this hell it is what it is and i know inside all i gotta do is move Pittsburgh for it to die down but it's like bro i'm tired of moving bro i'm tired of fucking i'm tired of fucking um Cause I, I traveled a lot. I've always wanted to move and shit. But when I really, when I came to Pittsburgh, cause I had even when I was in Arkansas and I, cause I, I um, I lost my job and I ended up getting another job. But something told me to just go home, you know, and just see how your family is. 
And when I moved here, I told myself I wanted to just live here and live the rest of my days and just be with my family. But that shit didn't happen. You know, it's, I'm just tired, bro. Could be the sickness inside of me that got me feeling like this, or it is what it is, but I'm tired. Only thing I ever really wanted from this world is to meet a better half, someone to love me for me. Never cared about having a thousand friends, never cared about being famous. The only thing I truly wanted is to find my significant other. And it just sucks when, you know, people got this projection. Yeah. Let me just say this, bro. Y'all will never truly know, and I'm talking for the perps and the harassers and the evil devils who's watching me right now. Y'all will never know who I truly am. Y'all will never know who I am within a person, not even throughout this technology, my YouTube shit. All you are is just, you know, even when it comes to my speech impediment, that shit didn't develop until I came to Pittsburgh, whether you believe me or not. You know, me, my, my words not coming out correctly, my mind not really working, you know, sounding illiterate sometimes, bouncing all over the place. Yeah, that shit started coming here. You know, the people who really fuck with me will tell you, we had intellectual conversations for hours. Hours and on in, like... But I can tell even from the spitting, all that shit, these, these people done poison me, these people done tamper, all these, and I don't want other targeted individuals to be scared, but understand, bro, as long as you in this system, they have control over this system. They have control of the narrative. They, they, they tell you who's the monster and who's the good guy. And a lot of the people that's portraying to be the good guys are fucking evil as shit. I will never scratch the surface. To the point, think about this targeted individuals. You get to the point where you start noticing children harass you and doing weird fucking things that I will not disclose that you should know what I'm talking about. When they get to the point where you start noticing certain consistency or frequency when they're using people, you know, people like that to do certain things and think about on top of what I say every time you leave the house, you see the same synchronicities. Now you start to see who the real problem is. Now you start to see who the real devils are. Now you start to see who the real crazy people, the real psychotic people, the envious, hateful, spiteful, these people. It's 24-7, all day, every day. And this is why I'm looked at as a supposedly asshole, because I'm not going for it, bro. I'm not going for it. I see the games. I see Satan's kingdom is strong. I see it has a lot of people in it, young and old. And they're playing like they're godly people, but they're not. They're acting like we're the problems, but we're not doing nothing. But every day, they're participating in the harassment in our life. They're bearing a problem and an inconvenience in our lives. I'm just an average Joe. Work, go home, mind my own business, but every day I got people breaking in my room, you know, trying to see how I'm living, what I'm doing. I got people fucking synchronizing with me every day, all day, getting in my face, you know. It's not like the normal shit, you know, it'd be different if I had genuine interactions, you know, seeing people for, for the first time. But even that, they destroy. You get to, the, your harassment gets so bad to the point where you'll see fresh new faces and they just off rip disrespect. Like I said, bro, y'all never know the real me because of what I'm experiencing in Pittsburgh. That is actually very real. Whether I did it myself, whether my attitude just became too bad, too toxic, whatever it may be, I became the problem. At the end of the day, I guess my hand was forced. I'm not giving an excuse, so you should just be an asshole too, or you should be a negative person. No, I'm just... I just always had a rebellious kind of nature. I don't like people telling me what to do, you know, and going through this program, you know, it's almost like everything they do 
is like rehabilitation. It's like they're trying to control your life and tell you who you can communicate with, who you can vibe with. Nah, bro. Nah. You start to notice, you know, the only people coming in contact with you is like some, like, just crazy motherfuckers, bro. Nah. Even down to the harassment, it's like they're trying to control your sexuality and it's like they want full, total control over you. And I'm just, I have a, a rebellious nature. This is why I was able to nor acknowledge my harassment and I just see it is for what it is, bro. It's like, you guys are just evil, sadistic assholes, bro, who want control over everything. Y'all want control over everything and everyone. And when you don't give them that sad to the point where you don't, these niggas even want your attention, bro. Don't even want to, don't want to vibe with you. Don't want to have a relationship with you. It's like they're obsessed with your attention. These people are the embodiment, uh, uh, embodiment of real energy vampires. Like people want to talk about all this shit, all the spiritual, spiritual problems and demons and energy vampires. I'm dealing with them right here in Pittsburgh, PA. I don't want to get besides my point, you know. I don't want to go off the rails and start talking about other spiritual connection shit. But I can notice a, I notice a deeper reason on why I'm being tortured, and I feel like it's not because of this this vessel suit. But with this, what's inside of me, and I know they want what's inside. The fly monkeys, the narcissists, you know, the people who believe in the rumors and lies. You don't, you don't know the real thing. You'll never catch the real monsters, bro. Even all the people you see on TV, bro, just products of the government, products of this system, controlling the narrative. All they're doing is just torturing people until their minds break and they become the criminals and. You know, it's like a distraction from y'all to really focus on who the real ones causing problems around here or, you know, like it. It's like I can see how truly evil this world is. And, I, and once again, I'm not saying I'm a saint. I'm perfect. I'm any of that shit. Good and evil is within me as well. But I choose to do right. I choose to try to be better. The South Coast going, don't go ahead and pin that. I already know it. I'm going to pin it. You know, gaslighting. Bullshit. This shit is sick, bro. This shit is sick. But I see how much Satan has power. And all the people he got working for him is just weak people. God ain't in the sky. God is within me. And I refuse to give him up or give it up. I understand this world is an entrapment. It's a prison. If these people, if these entities, whoever controlled this system really cared about us, really loved us, every store in the planet would be filled with vegetables and, and things that's filled with life. Or a life. There'll be trees planting everywhere with fruits falling off of them outside your house. But now, in every every corner store, every uh, around every neighborhood, there's a corner store with the most unhealthiest sugar crap in there. Which sugar has the same effect as cocaine on your brain, and we're all victims of it, bro. Even now, I'm fucking eating a fucking pop tart, so I'm no fucking, I'm no perfect. But I see the trap. Everything is meant to destroy us, even our own minds. That's fucked. <laughs> That's fucked. I don't know, there's just something about this world that has a darkness that I'm able to see, and I don't like it. That's why I don't like, that's why I don't like to participate in anything. You can blame it on me being lazy or being addicted to technology in my own way, like video games or whatever the case may be. But the truth is, is I see something that's corrupting the minds of everyone. And it's, it's literally all because we're participating in on this system, this world. 
Like, motherfuckers throughout the city don't talk to me whatsoever, bro. But all day when I was walking through, was it the morning of the, the voting shit? That's all I was hearing people say. Oh, you you, you voting today? Who you going to vote for? Are you voting today? Who you going to vote for? Make sure you go out there and vote. Bro. Fuck y'all, bro. Fuck y'all left-right bullshit, bro. Fuck y'all illusionary-ass system. I don't want no parts of it. I don't want nothing. I don't want to be a part of nothing in this system, bro, in this world, this matrix. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I've always been aware that this world was just something about it, man. Something about this world. They want you to pay attention to everything. As soon as you're born, you believe in this, do this, work for this, strive to be this. Every, I feel like we can do so much more with these bodies, bro. There's a reason why they're controlling us and having us think a certain way and Everything you just think about that. Everything you aspire to be in this world is another entity's creation, bro. You'll never truly know what these bodies or what you were truly here to do. And that shit pisses me off, bro. That shit aggravates me knowing that I'm truly, I, if God's real, why can't he just open up this guy and, hey, I'm real. Just make sure you're on your right track. Do it like. And I don't want to hear you, your Bible thumpers, what you oh, just have faith. Not all this shit is fucking programming, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Believe in this, believe in that. No. I believe in the Creator. I just don't believe in it's the way that these people say it is. I feel like it is all loving. You know, a lot of shit that don't make sense, all loving, but then you go to hell and you're like, something's not right, bro. <laughs> something's not right. And if that's just the darkness within me, then so be it. But something is not right. Mm. And there's real evil going amok. And the ones who truly wake up to what's going on, you will be turned out to be the monster to the program eyes. It's almost like they have a fail safe in their brains. You know, it's almost like they got a, a fail safe in their brain. As soon as you start talking about otherworldly shit, shit crazy. Oh, even now, I got a little ad that pops up on my phone out of nowhere. News break. Send me an ad. Child 12 among the five killed in plane crash. Pretty sure that was a ritualistic sacrifice. You know, and like even, even, even just seeing something like that experiencing this bro it truly shows me that i don't know if i don't the crimes you hear about that be so bad and then people don't get caught i'm starting to feel like it's just not even no coincidence it was most definitely a sacrifice and now i understand we're targeting individuals we're the distraction for the bots of the world you know the people who know about us and they harass and us tortured every day they don't know or maybe they do know I feel like we're the distraction for these bots while they continue to snatch up whoever they want, you know, torture whoever they want, rape, molest, kill, murder, torture, whoever they want without being acknowledged within the community because all eyes is on us. We're the biggest monsters and all we do, for example, me just work, go home, rinse, repeat. Hey, I'm living a bot life, but I'm okay with it, bro. I have happiness within. I know God's within me. I know, yeah, I can be better. I can, I can, I can do better and move on to better things. But I'm just tired, bro. I just, you know, like I said, the only thing I really want from this world is to find my better half. And that's it. I don't need nothing else. Yes, I guess that's even, just, even despite the program, that's hard because you know our beautiful queens of this world. All controlled about materialism and money. Everything's a fucking lie, bro. I feel like I really do got a great mind. I feel like I really do got an old soul. I feel like I've been here countless times. Maybe that's just a crazy talk, though. Maybe that's just the psychological abuse they've been performing on me forever, finally getting to me. I just know I don't want to be a part of this world. I don't care about money. I don't care about materialism. I don't care about other human attention and validation. You know, I don't envy nobody. I don't care about things other people have. 
I don't hate on anybody. I don't care about anything, bro. All I really care about is my own spiritual growth and like-minded people who can see through the illusions of this world, bro. That's really it. But as far as looking at other people with any type of hate or animosity, I just, I don't, I just don't care enough, you know? And it's crazy because you start to realize that's how everyone feels towards you. And then they'll get to the point where they'll start projecting how they feel into you, bro. It's just like, everything's projection. Everything's a game. Scripted reality. I'm just, and at this point, I'm just tired. You know, I did what I said I was going to do, stay and see how bad it is. And I could see they got me mapped out when I'm living in my crib, when I'm out the work, at the job, no matter who I meet. Like, and it's so it's it's so recognizable, just especially because I literally came from Arkansas having parties almost every day. I came I came to Pittsburgh back to Pittsburgh when I was 29. I was in Arkansas having parties every day. I was cool with everybody on my work line, you know, like. I was literally smoking with air, like going on breaks, having smoking sessions with like 10 people vibing. Come come to Pittsburgh. It was cool for like maybe two months. And then I just noticed a shift, you know, that's how I know they went on with the ritualistic sacrifice. You know, that's why I understand my mom dying. That was a sacrifice. My mom or my dad or not my dad, uh, my brother going crazy, getting locked up was a sacrifice. And then me get, going through this program and experiencing this shit was a sacrifice, you know. And I know the family member that did it because it, it makes sense because even that family member ran off with mm, supposedly my dad's money that he left me. But that could have just been gaslighting or she really did do it. But at the end of the day, my family sacrificed me as a kid and they sacrificed me when I came back here. You know, and there ain't no amount of videos that I can make to have people believe me and Moving forward, I will forever be harassed and tortured by a whole community until the day I die. And that's just part of what it is, you know. But I hope in the next world I can have my revenge. I don't I don't wish no harm or destruction towards towards anybody in this world, even the people who might have sold me out. But there I, I wish they would pay in the next life. That's the only thing I'll say. And I feel like I do have power on the other side. I don't know how to explain it. I could just be talking bullshit. I mean, at this point in age, we're all fucking crazy, if you ask me. I'm just tired. That's it. I don't get, uh, you know, I guess they're in purpose. They just want to see me in a different type of fucked up and destruction. You know, even now, I'm just hearing clinking somewhere. So they got some student around here just knocking metal. And I didn't hear that shit before I was making a video. It was quiet. You know, it's just, it's just shit like that just lets you know, bruh. You speaking truth, bro. I'm right about everything I'm saying and they hate it. And that's why every day I make a video, my harassment gets worse. They go above and beyond the very next day. Like even the day when I get off after uploading this video, everything I talk about, I'm experienced 10 times more. I'm like, it is what it is, bro. I'd rather speak and live in truth than live in a lie and not say shit. And that's what these assholes are doing, living in a lie and not saying shit. Y'all so righteous on what y'all doing, then one of you agents come out, make a video, and explain why I'm going through this shit. Speak up. I'm speaking up. If you're righteous and my destruction and the torture and everything I'm experiencing is justified, then one of you motherfuckers come to me and say why it's happening to me instead of being so secretive about it. And I'm going back and even saying, understand, y'all are creating monsters and then bitching about it. I see this program for what it is. And this is why I'll always be considered as a hard target because I'm never going to, I'm never going to act out of my character, bro. I'm never going to do anything out of my character. I'm never going to harm anybody in this world or nothing. Like everything y'all portraying to me to be some monster, hurtful ass individual. It is what it is, bro. When I die, whether that's sooner rather than later. I know at the end of the day, when I close my eyes for the last time, I can know that I never tortured, harmed, 
physically, spiritually, emotionally destroyed anybody in this world. But all the people who participate participated in my harassment, when I die, you can know you did that to me. You can know you gossip, slandered, tortured me, <laughs> did everything beyond to try to destroy me. While I still remained in my frame and I've done, I did nothing to you. Your family, your kid, your dog, you know, your grandpappy, your, your grandma. No, I done nothing to no one. All I was was the punch bag for people with deep-rooted trauma and emotion, emotional problems. And the real psychological people, the real narcissists, the real sociopaths. I was literally your punching bag. So you could forget the own misery in your own life and have a chance to take out your anger on somebody who didn't deserve it. That's why even I tell myself, bro, I wish I can. In the next life, I really wish I could take my anger out on y'all, but I don't want to live in anger. I don't want to live in violence. If I leave this world, I hope I don't never have to come back here again. I want to be free from all this shit. I want to be free from everything. It's not fear that I had to grow up through trauma. And then, de you know, detach from trauma, lose it, didn't live in trauma no more, and then come back to Pittsburgh. And it's like they're trying to replant trauma back into my life so I can live in trauma again. I don't know how to explain it. I just know I'm under demonic attack every day of my life. And man, they definitely want my soul. They want whatever's inside me. But I don't want to get distracted. I don't want to go too deep. I don't want this video to be too long either. So, this is Bahamut. I'm out of here. Make sure y'all stay up and stay high vibrational.